Welcome to my webinar. My name is John Lee and I am mortgage broker with Arise Mortgage. And in this webinar, we're going to be talking about mortgage renewals and what your options are and what the process would be in Canada. So what is a mortgage renewal? So for those who have a mortgage already, you must have signed up for a certain number of terms. And eventually that mortgage will have a maturity date. And that day is very important because you are able to have lots of different options so that you can do lots of different planning for your mortgage and for your finances. In terms of planning, the maturity date, typically it's about one to five years, depending on the term that you sign up for. And on your mortgage statement, it should show a maturity date. And this is a very important date to pay attention to. So why does it really matter? Well, on that maturity date, it's a time for you to figure out your finances because it can impact your monthly payments and overall financial health. It's also a good time to review your budgeting and planning. So what are your cash flows like? If the interest rates are higher or lower, that will affect your monthly payments. And also a good time to look at your debt management. Are you racking up more credit card debt or, or is your debt um, too much and you can't keep up with the payments? Well, it's a good time to consider possibly con consolidating other debts into the mortgage renewal. Other factors would be interest rate changes. Every time your mortgage renews, it will be renewed at the current interest rate. So it can be lower or higher depending on the market situation, which affects your monthly payment. Will the mortgage affect your long-term risk? So you may have thoughts of maybe going back to school or retirement or purchasing another property. So all of these things, if you do it right, you can minimize your total cost in the future. And lastly, if you are able to get good terms and good rates for the renewal, you can build your equity a lot faster. So what's the timeline? Well, you will want to work backwards, figure out what your maturity date is and go back five months before that date. Five months before that date, you should start the conversation and start the planning. Four months before that, that's a good time to begin executing the plan. Why is that the case? It's because majority of the lenders, they would allow you to lock in a rate for four months. So if you are in a rising interest rate environment, that's a really good time to lock in the rate as soon as possible so that if rates go up, then you're protected. But on the flip side, you would still want to lock in the rate sooner than later, because even though you've locked it in, it may be higher and rates drop, you will always be guaranteed the lowest rate at that time offered by the lender. And on the maturity date, that would be when the new terms would be effective and you will begin your new mortgage. Well, there are a lot of different terminologies. So I want to go over three big terms with you. Number one is renewal. And the, that's the process re, of re, renegotiating the terms of your existing mortgage with the current lender when the initial term expires. So note that it's the doing it with the existing mortgage amount and current lender. A transfer is very similar, but you're actually taking the mortgage and bringing it to another lender, most likely because this lender is offering better terms and rates. And lastly, refinance. This is very different because in this case, you're actually increasing the existing mortgage and creating a new mortgage with different rates and uh, different amortization, either with the same or different lender. So here are the key differences. For renewal, like I mentioned, no change in the lender. The mortgage is the same and you will basically continue on making payments based on the new rate and new terms. But this is the key point for renewals is that because 
you are not switching lenders and assuming that your mortgage is in good standings, you actually don't need to be reapproved. So regardless of what your financial situation is, you may be retired, laid off, uh, or other things that may affect the application negatively, the lenders won't care. They'll still offer you that renewal. For transfer, there can be change in terms. So borrowers, borrower can opt into a different interest rate, most likely lower, or else you wouldn't go through that hassle to transfer to another lender. Uh, the term length and amortization, we can have the option to increase your amortization so that your payments can be lower. The balance is still going to be the same and uh, everything can be uh, renegotiated and with a different lender. And lastly, refinance, there will be change in terms, quite a few actually, because the borrower is opting into a different interest rate, term, amortization, and also increasing the mortgage balance as well. So which one should you choose? So for renewals, if you are happy with your current lender and they're giving you a really good rate, then that's probably the easiest. Just stick with them and renew with them. It's hassle-free. All you have to do is sign a few uh, pages of paper and contract, and then you're good for like say five years or something. For transfers, uh, those this option is for borrowers who are really not satisfied with their existing lender and whatever offer that they're giving. And this is a great option for those who can qualify. So who has like good income and good credit, then many other lenders will really want your business. And in particular, if your property has a market value of less than 1 million, if you reach out to a mortgage broker, we actually have way more options, more than just the big banks. And these mortgage companies, they actually really love these types of mortgages and will offer really low rates and undercut many banks. So if you're in that category and you want to do a transfer, definitely reach out to a mortgage broker. And lastly, refinance. Refinancing is for those who need access to the home equity for major expenses. So renovations, debt management, you want to take out equity to potentially invest in a rental property. So you need a down payment. Um, so this option will be good if you want to leverage and invest. So these are the things to consider uh, as part of the decision-making. Number one, you got to figure out what the interest rate environment is. Speak to a professional because every time you have to renew a mortgage, it's based on the current rate. Based on the economy, so many things will affect the rate. So you need to know what the rate is and what could happen in the future. Costs and fees. If you do a transfer or refinance, there are legal fees and appraisal fees involved. So consider this as part of the calculation. It's actually not too much. It's about say around $1,000 or so, but definitely there is a cost to it. So despite you getting a lower rate, we want to make sure that we include the fees so that even with the fees, you're still ahead and it makes it worthwhile to do the transfer. Figure out your financial goals uh, and making sure that the mortgage you know, a lot aligns with what you have planned in the future. And lastly, professional advice. Seek a um, advice from mortgage professionals so that you make an in informed decision. Again, it's a big, big decision. It's a big date. So you want to do it correctly. There are many things to also consider for the mortgage itself. So one would be, do you want fixed rates or variable rate? Meaning for fixed rates, it's the rate does not change for the re remainder of the term, or are you okay with the rate changing based on what the Bank of Canada announces? Number two would be open versus closed mortgages. Open means 
you can pay down or pay out your mortgage without any penalty. Closed mortgages means if you are wanting to pay out your mortgage, like selling your property, for example, there may be penalty involved. And lastly, figure out the monthly payment that is comfortable for you. The interest rate and amortization can be adjusted so that the monthly payment would be more comfortable for your cash flow. So make sure you shop around. There are lots of banks, lots of lenders out there. And using a mortgage broker, you will have access to mortgage companies that you will probably not know or have access to. And that would be a, a good idea to research in. Of course, you can also do your own research as well, but definitely take that time to do your research and shop around. Avoid renewal complacency with the same lender. What happens when it comes to mortgage renewals is that your existing lender may just send you a letter and give you a bunch of offers. And what some people may do is just, oh, these are the offers, they initial, they sign, send them back, and then they're good. Try to avoid that because most of the time, the offers that they're giving you is probably not the best. Uh, if you reach out to a mortgage broker or even just contact your lender directly over a phone or in person, they'll be able to offer you something much better than what that letter is offering. Evaluate the entire package. Interest rate is important, I get it, but there are also a lot of different things to consider as well. How is the mortgage registered? Is it a standard charge or is it a collateral charge? What's the prepayment privilege? Is it 10%, 15%, 20%? Or um, are they able to allow you to pay out at all? How about porting options? What if you're planning to move and you don't want to pay a penalty by breaking the term? Can you bring the mortgage to a new property? So there are lots of things to consider and it's not just the interest rate. Special promotions, depending on time of the year, lots of different lenders really want to fight for the business and they would either give you a cashback bonus or they may uh, cover the transfer costs. So make sure you research on that. Again, mortgage brokers like myself would have access to those and we can do the shopping for you. Let's take a look at real life case studies of these three different things. So number one will be renewal. So here's a situation, a client who recently retired and cannot be qualified for a new mortgage. Well, it's going to be tough to transfer the mortgage. So likely renewing with the existing lender will be a good idea as long as the mortgage is in good, stand, good standings and they offer renewal terms. Because the client cannot qualify at another lender, staying with the same lender is the best option. But of course, still take that extra step to talk to the lender directly and hopefully they are able to offer better terms for you. Next case study is a transfer. So here's a client with an, a mortgage of $500,000 with an existing lender and their offer is 5.45%. And in this case, it would be $3,037.42 for a monthly payment based on a 25 year amortization. This client speaks to a mortgage broker like myself and I was able to find another lender that's offering 5.15%. And you'll notice that the payment is lower by about $86 to $87 per month. And despite it being just 0.3% lower, we're working with big numbers. And because of that, if the person holds this for five years, that's a savings of $5,193. And last case study would be a refinance. So this is a little bit complicated. The mortgage is coming up due and the client would like to get access to the home equity as much as possible. Why? Because they want to renovate the home and to give a down payment to a family member. The mortgage is currently in variable rate 
and it's quite high. And it's also scary because the Bank of Canada may continue to increase rates, so they want to lock in the rate. They also prefer the payments to be as low as possible because of cash flow reasons, and the borrowers are quite strong and they can qualify. The property value is $1 million and the existing mortgage is 700000 The rate 6.75, and it's variable, 25-year amortization, and monthly payments are about almost 4800 Now, this is what I can do for a client. So same thing, same property, $1 million in value. We're increasing the mortgage amount from seven hundred dollars to 800000 We're fixing the rate. And fixed rates at this time is lower than variable. So it's 5.49%. And another thing that we're doing is stretching out the amortization, making it longer from 25 years to 30 years. And what you'll notice is that the payment is actually lower than the existing mortgage, even though we're borrowing $100,000 more. But why is that? Well, obviously there's the lower rate, but also, the amortization plays a big part as well. So thank you so much for joining us in the webinar. Again, my name is John Lee. I'm a mortgage broker, also the owner of Arise Mortgage. And if you want to get connected with me about mortgage renewals, so if you have any questions, feel free to email me, call me. I'm happy to answer all your questions, and I would love to connect with you.